everyone that was in the live yesterday saw us having issues with the high combo. Well, we got that fixed now. We added some zip ties to make this more perpendicular to feed in the extruder. We added another one up here so that keep this from getting caught in the cutter. And then we've tested it quite a few times. You can see the poop down here. But just for proof, here's a video on how to do that. And we will show you here. We'll go back to the main menu. You go here to filament. Go up here to CFS. Go here to the color you want to test. Click extrude. It will start the process. It'll check the filament position. It'll put it over here to the where it does the purging. You just have to wait for the temperature to go up to 220. While we're at it, I'll go over some parts with you. This right here is your build plate. This right here is your head unit. Right here is your extruder. The filament sensor right here with the blue light on means you have filament currently in. This is the top spool feed. This is the buffer unit. This is your CFS. This is the humidity set readings, relative humidity, and this is the temperature. Now that it's done that, it'll go back, it'll retract the filament that's currently in there. You'll see it doing that, and then you'll watch it go back in to the CFS. And it'll put it right back in. It just wants to make sure. It'll feed it in. It'll feed it in through your buffer. And it'll go right back down in to your extruder. The blue light will come on, notifying you that filament's in. And you can look down here on the bottom into the little poop thing. You'll see it start ejecting filament. That's how you know your extruder is working. You see it purge, then it'll do it one more time. And there we go. Our problem has been solved. Thanks for watching. Please tune in, like, and follow.